Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey. This is number four sequences. This is series two. If you haven't seen series one, check it out. It's just me doing exam questions. Love it. Uh, so these have a gap of four, as you can see here. So the next term in the sequence will be 23. And just so you know, these are the simple sequence questions that happen at the start of the paper. There are more complicated ones, like the arithmetic sequences. Uh, I have a video on that as well. That's like number 59 in the series, right at the end, because those ones are tricky. Anyway, let's crack on. Explain how you worked out your answer. Um, you can just say uh, the rule is add four. Find the first number greater than 17 that is in the sequence. Okay, well, what we're going to need for this is the nth term. Now, we see the gap is 4, so we write 4n, it's very much like the 4 times table, but it's been slightly shifted. And to find the shift, what we can do is imagine what number would go in that green box. Well, I'd have to go back 4 from 3, so that would get me to minus 1. So the nth term is 4n minus 1. Now we want that to be greater than 70. Okay, so what we could do is solve this inequality. Add 1 to both sides. Divide by 4. And what is that going to give me? That is going to give me 71 divided by 4. 17.75 so because n's got to be greater than that n needs to be 18 so it's the 18th term in the sequence is going to be greater than 70. okay what is that well we can use our nth term to work out what each term is so i'll do 4 times 18 is the position minus 1 so 4 times 18 minus 1 and that gives me 71 Perfect. So 71 is the first term which is bigger than 70. Ada says 96 is a number in the sequence. Is Ada correct? Well, we can see that she's not correct because all of the numbers are odd. And because we're adding an even number each time, they're going to stay odd forever and ever more. So no, all terms in sequence are odd. Brill. Okay, here we're finding the nth term of this sequence. So once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the gap. Now this time the gap is minus 6 each time. So my sequence starts minus 6n. It's very much like the minus 6 times table. And then we draw a big green box here and we say what number is going to go in that box. Well, to go the other way, I would need to add 6. So adding 6 to 85 gives me 91. So it's minus 6n plus 91 is the nth term of that sequence. Okay, let's go again. Another nth term. Well, let's look at the gap. What have we got here? It is plus 4. So <clears throat> it's just like the 4 times table, 4n. And then we're going to look at this green box. What number goes in there? Well, if I go back, I've got to go minusing 4 to go backwards. So it's plus, positive 3. So it's 4n plus 3. Now, the m term of a different number sequence is given by 80 minus 2n. Write down the first three terms. So the first term is when n is 1, as always. Uh, so that's 80 minus 2 times 1. So that's 78. And then the next term is when n is 2. So that's 80 minus 2 times 2, so that gives me 76. And then the next term is when n is 3, which is 80 minus 2 times 3, which is 80 minus 6, which is 74. And you can see they've got a gap of uh, negative 2, because it's a negative 2n sequence. Um, uh, UN says that there are no numbers in both sequences. And... Uh, she is correct. Um, explain why. And that is because the first sequence are uh, all odd, comma, 
the second um, are all even. So they won't meet. Okay, here we go again. Nth term. Bosch, Bosch, Bosch. Four, 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 and four. And that gives me 4n in that box. What would it be? Go back four, minus three. Okay, there is another way. And why not I show you now? The other way, which is very useful for the more challenging sequences questions, check it out. Uh, 59 is the number of that video. And that is to use this formula. It looks like this. Where A is the first term, which would be 1. And D is the common difference, which would be 4. Expand out gives me 4n minus 4. Collect the like terms, and that gives me 4n minus 3, just like it did up here. Okay, uh, the nth term of another arithmetic sequence is 3n plus 5. Find an expression in terms of m for the n, this is the 2 nth term of this sequence. This is a weird question. I remember when this question was given out, I thought, wow, this is a weird question. Okay, so an expression in terms of n of the 2 nth term. So the, the position of the sequence essentially is n. n always stands for the position. So what it's saying is the new position is 2m. So you just replace the n in the nth term with 2m. So it becomes 3, 2m plus 5, which gives you a total of 6m plus 5. Okay, um, let's do the, let's use the formula. Let's use the formula. Let's do it this way for a change. Uh, first term is 2. And the difference is, looks to me, like 7. Expand out the brackets, 7n minus 7. And then 2 minus 7 is minus 5. Perfect. OK, here we go. A little bit of context, finally. <laughs> um, we have a warehouse and two different types of shelves, and these shelves are managed to, to make shelving units. Oh, how lovely. Here are the first three terms of the sequence. Okay, okay looks good. Uh, the width um, of R is 2.4, as shown there, and here the width of the shelf uh, S is 3.5. Work out the total width of a shelving unit that has six types, six type Rs. Okay, well, what you can see is for every, if there, uh, for however many R's there are, there's always one less S. So here there's one, two, three, and there's one, two S's. Here there's one, two, three, four, and there's one, two, three S's. So six R's would need to be accompanied by five S's. So we do six times by R plus five times by S. Okay, so we could do that on the calculator. And we would do uh, 6 times by 2.4 plus 5 times by 3.5. And we get uh, 31.9. That sounds good. Uh, a shelving unit has N type R shelves. The total width of this shelving unit is W. Find an expression in terms of w, for W in terms of N. Okay, well, we know there are n um, uh, type R shelves, and there's always one less type S. So there are n type R's, and there are then n minus 1 type S's. And uh, n, uh, sorry, R is 2.4, so it's 2.4 n. And that's... Um, n minus 1 times by s, which is 3.5. So I can expand this out to get 3.5 n minus 3.5. I can add the n's together 
and that gives me um, 5.9 n and there's also minus 3.5 there as well and we are done check out um, 59 that one is arithmetic sequences which is significantly harder but for now bye bye